And straight away, we have some breaking news that is coming in. There's a shake-up in India's top investigation agency, the Central Bureau of Investigation. Now, 13 CBI officials, we understand, have been transferred. These 13 officials were supervising the probe against CBI Special Director Alok Varma. We have uh, this development uh, coming in a day after CBI Special Director Rakesh Astana was... Uh, uh, relieved of his uh, duties. Uh, now CBI Director Alok Varma has moved the Indian Apex Court, challenging his compulsory leave. We have Bhairavi Singh joining us with the latest updates on the front. Bhairavi, talk to us. Now the update is that 13 officials have been asked, uh, have been moved in this process. Well, absolutely. News coming thick and fast in this big breaking story. It is the CBI versus CBI, the premier institution of India's investigating agency. A dark cloud uh, over it now. What we're picking up is, Krishna, that 13 CBI officials have been transferred, some of them to Port Blair. Uh, these are uh, officers who were uh, known to be supposedly close to Alok Varma and were investigating Rakesh Asthana and have now been transferred. That cabinet note has just been circulating. Lots of developments this morning. One, of course, being in the next half an hour or so, there will be a cabinet briefing by Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad and Arun Jaitley. There's a lot of damage control that the government will have to do at this point, considering that the opposition is gunning uh, for the government. Uh, why is it that the Premier investigation, uh, investigating agency, the two top leaders, officers rather, are uh, fighting each other? Now, the other big development coming from the top court this morning is that Alok Varma petition uh, against his uh, sort of being forced to go on leave has been accepted by the Supreme Court and will be heard in the court uh, on Friday. Now, what we're also picking up is that there are certain allegations uh, that are coming in that why was the CBI direct, uh, director go, uh, asked to go on forced leave? Uh, remember that the CBI director is appointed by a joint committee that is headed by the Prime Minister, has the opposition leader and the Chief Justice of India, and that he can be told to go on leave uh, only uh, by this joint committee of uh, of these three members. But this note had been has been uh, has come uh, from the uh, Central Vigilance Commission. There was that late night development just yesterday and we know that all these details emerged that Nageshwar Rao was to take over the CBI at 2 a.m. So you, you can well imagine Krishna what's been going on in the last 24 hours uh, in the lead up to what's happened this morning. High drama continues uh, and prevails at India's top investigation agency Bhairavi but uh, for now thank you so much for bringing us the latest uh, uh, updates uh, on that front. Uh, and it is a fugitive Indian businessman uh, who may be benefiting the most from this situation, this rift within India's top investigation agency. It was CBI Special Director Rakesh Astana who was leading the investigation against Vijay Malia, who is accused of a 10,000 crore rupee fraud. It's possible for the fugitive businessman now to use the CBI tussle to his advantage. Malia can claim in the UK court that he cannot be extradited on the basis of a probe that was carried out by a scandal hit Indian official. Experts claim that if the person leading an investigation is proved to be corrupt, then the entire trial stands the chance of collapsing. Experts say that Vijay Malia could now also argue that he would not get a fair trial in India since the officials are corrupt. Malia's defense team have repeatedly launched attacks on Astana and the CBI. The case of former Kingfisher Airline owner Vijay Malia has one of the highest profile cases that was handed over to CBI Special Director Rakesh Astana. According to reports, Astana and his special investigation team had begun investigations into the downgrading of the lookout circular against Vijay Malia. In fact, reports claim that the investigation was in the final stages.